hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about daytime in Odoo so we have seen many queries like when I'm fetching the data data from the database like when we are fetching the daytime from the database I'm not getting the same value that I'm seeing in the front end so we will discuss about that case in this video so if I go to hospital management module and if I go to appointments I have already added a daytime field for this purpose so here in the screen you can see here we have got a daytime field with a value 15th October 2019 with 12 as time so let's see so this is the model you can see the model name is hospital.appointment and the ID of the record is 2 so anything you can find from if I activate the developer mode so I'll just enter debug equal to the URL so that the debug mode will get activated so the from the debug button I can see if you act on edit view form you can see the model name is hospital.appointment and the ID of the record can be get from view metadata you can see ID is 2 so if I open the PG admin so I'll just open the PG admin to visualize the data and my database is Odoo 12 sorry dev 12 so from here I will expand uh, this is the database digital and I will go to schemas and then to public and then I will choose the database table that is hospital appointment so I'll go to tables and I'll take hospital dot appointments table so I'm scrolling down CTH. we have the appointments here hospital appointments here so I'll click on this button to view the data so here you can see here we have got two records that is HP02 and HP01 and HP02 is the record that we are talking about you can see HP02 the daytime field is containing the value 12 times 12 so if you check the same inside the database so it's a second row and if I scroll down scroll to the side you can see appointment daytime which is our field name so if I place the mouse over it you can see the field name of the corresponding daytime field is appointment underscore daytime and if I check the value here you can see what we are seeing here is 2019 10 15 instead of 12 we are getting 6 30 so many people will think and get confused why I am getting like this I am getting 12 in the, in the UI and inside the backend I am seeing 630 so this is because inside the database the daytime value is saved in UTC that is inside UTC time and while displaying the same thing in the front end the UTC value will get converted into the time zone value of the user so if I go to the database and here inside my preference here inside my preference you can see my time zone is Asia Kolkata so when I am saving a value when I am saving a daytime value into the database suppose the UTC for sorry the GMT for Asia is plus 530 so when I am saving a value from this time zone from this time zone the 5 plus 530 will get reduced decreased from the time I am saving so currently here I am saving 12 okay so from this value f530 will get decreased so if I decrease 530 uh, 12 minus 1 11 again minus 1 it will 10 again minus 1 9 8 7 so 5, 5 has been decreased then a 30 has to be decreased so if you reduce a 530 hours from 12 you will get 630 so that's what you are seeing here so if I change the value in the front end to 1 that is 13 if I change these to I'll just change it to 1730 so that you will get an correct value I will change it to 1730 1730 from the front end okay 1730 so I'll just change the value to 1730 here and if you check the value inside the PG admin you can see I'll click on here you can see if I as I have changed the value to 1730 you can see right now you are getting 12 inside the database that is when you save a daytime value into the database it's saved as UTC and when you, the same thing has been displayed in the front end it will get converted into the user's time zone and will show in the 
UI. So if you take same thing from the code, so in the appointment screen, we have got a button that is delete lines. So let me take the corresponding button here. You have the button here. So inside this button, I'll just print the value of the print date value of date time field field is I'll give a record uh, the field name is if I scroll down you will get the field name is appointment date so if in the code also you will get the date time as date time in the UTC so here what I have done is I have just printed the value of print the value of appointment so I think uh, there is uh, some issues currently I'll do one thing edit configuration and then just change this thing up. okay which I have configured for the watchdog I'll just restart the service again so what I have done is in the delete line function I have just printed the value inside the appointment date so let's see what we are getting right now so I have restarted the service already and I'll click on here we have 1730 hours daytime I'll click on date delete button and if I check the log you can see sorry the field which I have to print is not appointment date it is appointment date time so I'll copy this and I will paste it here inside and I will restart the service again and if I click on the delete line delete button again you can see here also we are getting the value inside value in UTC the same that we have already seen inside the PG admin so for the code purpose you might have to change or you have to convert it into the lock uh, UTC sorry in the local time zone and you can do it so this is the answer for the queries we have seen it in many places like uh, forum uh, Facebook groups on uh, LinkedIn Twitter etc people are asking why I am seeing a different value inside the database and I'm seeing different values inside the UI so the simple answer is when you see the value inside the front end it will be in the users time zone so Odoo is a multi-user access system which is accessed from different parts of the world so we have to we cannot store the time in local time zone which will make things complicated so for a general purpose all the daytime value will be stored in inside the database as UTC and those values are converted into the user's time zone so you know in the, inside the preference we will set the time zone for the users so based on the time zone the UTC value from the database will be converted into the local time zone and will be displayed inside the front end so that's all about this video if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions we welcome all those feedbacks and suggestions to improve the channel also if you like our videos uh, please like by clicking the like button also you can subscribe to channel and press the bell icon for notification thank you